There's a bunch of hands lately that I just can't stop thinking about. I don't know if I made the wrong plays or the right plays. So take a look at these hands and tell me what you think in the comments if I made the right or wrong play so I could be better for next time. I'm two hands away from leaving and I look down at pocket aces. I put in a raise for 10. My chips were already racked up. I'm ready to go pretty much. I was having a nice session and now I got pocket aces at the end and I'm three bet. The small blind puts in a raise for 35. I could either four bet him here, but I decide to slow play it and call the 35. The flop comes out 962 with two spades. That's a really good flop for me. He actually checks here. I throw in a small bet of 25. My thinking is I'm under repping my hands tremendously right now. There's no way he could put me on pocket aces with the way I'm playing it. So if he has a high pocket pair, I could get paid here. The four of diamonds comes out on the turn. He checks. I'm going to bet a nice size here to see if he's serious, to see if he has a legitimate hand. So I take some chips out of the rack. I take three breads and I make it 85 to go on the turn. My opponent goes into the tank. He thinks for a little bit. What? Huh? And he folds. We win the pot. He thought I was bluffing. It's my last hand of the night. I'm under the gun plus two, and we got four seven of clubs. It's actually a hand that I like. I'm gonna raise it up to 10 bucks. We got a couple folders. The small blind is gonna three bet me up to 40. I usually wouldn't call this hand, but it's the last hand of the night. So I just wanted to gamble and get my money in. I make the call here. We go heads up to the flop. The dealer brings in the chips. The pot's 83 bucks going to the flop. He puts it out. Jack eight, nine. I have a gut shot straight draw, but if I make my straight, he can make a higher one potentially. He leads out for 20, I make the call. I don't pick up too much information on his flop bet. The pot's now at 123, the turn comes out the eight of clubs, and he's gonna lead out now for 65, he puts in a lot bigger bet. I go in the tank for a little bit, I think, and I think he's weak here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in a nice size raise after I think for a little bit because I just think he's weak. So I start cutting out my chips and I'm playing from the rack, keep that in mind. So when you get aggressive from the rack, people usually think that you have a massive hand. A lot of people don't bluff out of the rack, so I use that to my benefit here. I throw out a raise of 175 and we let my opponent go into the tank because now he has a massive decision here. I needed to hold my composure because he was tanking for so long at this point. But eventually he throws his cards in, he folds, and I flip up my cards face up. He sees the bluff and he's shocked by it. We collect the pot, it was a $363 pot, and that's how you bluff with seven high on a paired board when your opponent seems weak. On the button, yeah. one, two, no limit. It's raised, and that guy just lost job. a massive pot, so he's on two we had, like, right the now. Same we got pocket jacks on the button. Couple people fold. I'm gonna three bet it up to 40 bucks. I have about 150 behind that 40, and I knew my opponent was gonna call here because he was tilting. He's pretty much calling at any two at this point. So the flop comes out. It's a solid flop for me. 10, 7, 8 with two spades. We have an over pair. We have a straight draw. My opponent checks. I think for a little bit because there's a lot of money in the middle and we both don't have a tremendous amount of money behind. I bet $60. My opponent immediately goes all in and I wasn't folding here. I call nine of hearts, ace of spades. And my opponent flips over queen nine of spades. He rivered the flush on me. I tanked for a little bit because this beat just made me sick. He rivered the flush. I was ahead. I actually turned the straight. 
I show them the jack of spades and I muck my cards onto the next. Six eight of diamonds is my hand. I'm at the win playing one three no limit. We're in the small blind and I like six eight of diamonds. That's one of the hands that I'm gonna play. It goes to 15. I call 15 from the small blind and then the big blind puts out a three bet. He raises it up to 75 bucks to go. If I call here, I'm gonna be out of position and I'm always gonna be checking the flop pretty much. So I wanna call here because we're both kind of deep. I have about 250 after. The flop comes jack eight, four. I flop middle pair, I check it. We also have a backdoor flush draw. Our opponent then bets for 110. This decision right here is massive because if we call, we're likely committing all our chips. So I call the 110 and I'm probably not gonna be able to fold this hand, especially with the turn card coming out, the five, which makes us another straight draw with middle pair. We check, our opponent then thinks for a second. He bets 200, which puts me all in and I have to call this hand pretty fast because I'm definitely gonna be in there with my hand. The river comes out, the deuce of spades and he waits for a second wants me to show my cards but he was the aggressor he has pocket queens and i lose the hand with middle pair everyone always has a big pocket pair when they three bet this game was a ton of action i got eight nine of clubs somebody limps it's a straddled pot i'm gonna definitely raise with this hand i make it 25 to go i'm in middle position and it gets to the button and he starts cutting out more chips he three bets it to 45. We get a folder. The guy who initially limped, he limp calls a three bet cold I'm just 45. Now I'm getting a good price to continue with my hand. I make the call. We're going three ways to the flop. The dealer puts out the flop and it comes the right color, but the wrong suit. Deuce, four, six, all spades. It gets checked to me. I'm also gonna check here and see what the three better is gonna do on a flop like this, coming out super low with three of the same suit. And he bets pretty small, 45, which is one third pot. I don't think I could call here. It's a cash game, I could live to see another day, take my eight, nine of clubs, fold it, hopefully get another good hand and continue. It's just not a strong enough flop for me, so I give it a fold. Do you guys think I made the correct play here, or should I maybe have thrown in a raise? What would you do here? What? I have ace three of hearts. Call fifteen dollars. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. The flop ace two and three. I raise for twenty dollars. The turn is nine of spades. I raise for sixty-five dollars. The river is ten of spades. Raise for one hundred dollars. Nice one. Nice one.